Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to program an H051 family microcontroller. The minimum components required are an H051 family microcontroller, a crystal oscillator, two 22 picofarad capacitors, two 10k resistors, a push button switch, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and a USB ASP programmer. This is the pin diagram of an 8051 microcontroller. The crystal need to be connected between pin number 18 and pin number 19. Depending on the 8051 microcontroller variant we are using, the crystal frequency can be up to 40 MHz. But in most cases, we will be using a 11.0592 MHz crystal because it yields a cycle frequency of 921.6 kHz which can be divided with a whole number to give you some of the most common baud rates of UART. That is 19200, 9600, 4800, 2400, 1200 and 300 hertz. How we are obtaining this 921.6 kilohertz is 11.0592 into 1200 so it is 10 raised to 6 divided by 12, so which is equal to 921.6 kilohertz. Here we are dividing by 12 as in 8051, one instruction cycle consists of 6 states or 12 clock cycles. Now we need to connect the 22 picofarad capacitors to the ground. These capacitors are used to resonate with the crystal inductance and cause the crystal to oscillate on its fundamental parallel resonant mode. One of the 10K resistor is used to pull down the RST pin of 8051 to low. So connect 10K resistor to RST pin and the other end to ground. The 0.1 microfarad capacitor is connected between the RST pin and 5 volt and the push button switch is connected across this for resetting the microcontroller. Another 10K resistor is connected between the EA pin and plus 5 volt to pull the EA pin to high. So this is necessary as we are using the internal flash memory of 8051. In this video, I am using an 8051 quick start board from Silicon Techno Labs. This board has an 89S52IC which is an 8051 family microcontroller, a crystal oscillator with clock frequency of 11.0592 MHz, a built-in LED connected to port 2 pin 0 that is P2.0, a push button switch connected to P3.3, an LED array, a 16 by 2 yellow backlit LCD display with terminals available at a male header connector, real time clock, full bridge rectifier with 5 volt voltage regulator 7805, reset switch and all ports of microcontroller available for connection using male header connectors. To do the experiment, first connect the USB ASP programmer to the microcontroller. The pins VCC and ground in USB ASP programmer are connected to plus 5 volt at ground and the pins reset, MOSI, MISO and SCK are connected to the corresponding pins of 8051. Here, a 6 pin male header connector is provided in the USB ASP programmer and the 8051 quick starter board for interconnection. Now connect the USB SB programmer to the PC through the USB port. After connecting USB SB programmer to the PC, open the device manager to verify that the drivers are installed and working fine.
here you can see that USB ASP programmer is available. Double click on this and it indicates that this device is working properly. As we need to have hex file of the program to write to the microcontroller, we need to use scale microvision 5 ID for generating the hex file. For more details on Kale software, see the introductory video. The link for this video is given in the description below. As a first experiment, we will try to blink the built-in LED which is connected to P2.0 of microcontroller. For this, open the Kale Microvision 5 ID. Create a new project. For that, go to the project menu. Click on new microvision project. Give the name of the project. Here, I'll give LED pink. Select the microcontroller. Here, I am using AT89S52. Select the microcontroller and click OK. Here you can click No. Now go to Target, right click, choose the option, options for target, target 1. Now select the crystal frequency as 11.0592 megahertz and go to the output tab and check create hex file. If this is not checked, the hex file will not be created. Now click OK. So now for writing the program, go to file, click new and save this file. So LED blink program dot C. Please make sure that you give the extension dot C. Click on save. Now you can write your program here. The first line of your program should be the special function register declarations for the intended 8051 derivative. So hash include. RG52.h Next, define the LED pin so that we can use the variable instead of the pin number. Yes, bit LED is equal to P2.0. Next section is the function prototype declaration. We need to have a delay function in this particular program. So we'll define that. Void delay. Void. Next is a main function where we'll switch on the LED and switch off the LED. We should have an infinite loop. So while one LED is equal to zero, that is switch on the LED. Then delay. Switch off the LED. Then delay. close the brackets. Next we have to write the delay function. Here I am not giving any specific time delay. Random numbers are chosen. Now the program is over. 
before building the project we need to add this particular program to the project so for that click on this plus mark go to source group one right click add existing file to group source group one select led bring program dot c and add now close this window so here we, if you click on this plus symbol you can see that led bring program dot c is added to this source group and this particular project now we can just click on build project so there is an error in line number 23 see under this 4 uh, you have to give brackets or you just uh, you have to give a bracket here so that's why it is showing error under this for loop also you can just give a bracket or you can just put semicolon so you can just put a bracket and open and close a bracket and uh, now you compile this so the program has zero errors and uh, zero warnings now we'll go to the folder and see whether hex file has been created or not so it is in desktop lab and under objects so you can see that hex file has been created LED blink hex file has been created once the hex file is ready the next step is to download this hex file to the 8051 microcontroller so for this we need to have another software here I am using Prog ISP the Prog ISP is a simple application which can be downloaded freely from the internet open Prog ISP software select the microcontroller so I am using 889S52 then click on load flash to load the program my hex file is LED blink so select that click on open and click auto so here you can just see that now it is programming flash so the status will be displayed on the bottom of this particular application so now it is verifying the flash so now it is ready that is the program has been already downloaded to 8051 microcontroller and now if you see your the board so the LED in this board is blinking In this video, we have seen how to program an 8051 microcontroller. In the upcoming videos, we will see the interfacing with DC motor, stepper motor, LCD, etc. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification when a new video is uploaded.